what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something that i've been wanting to do for a while with all of my electric pit bikes and uh i'm honestly i just haven't you know had the the drive to do it but uh after i getting this b1 this thing looks like it's going to be so easy to do this with so uh today we're going to be throwing a foot brake on the b1 check it out i've been planning and scoping stuff out and uh, I think I've finally got a good plan this will be like version one so we'll see how it ends up going um, but yeah so I have this old foot brake lever that I've been using uh, that I've been wanting to use on the Mototech and I think it's gonna end up being perfect if I weld a pivot point right here have it something just like this I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of pieces and stuff on it to make sure I have maximum movement and then I went ahead and got, I got actually I got a couple of these uh, foot brake assemblies and so far all of the masters seem to be about the same uh, but for this rotor or the uh, caliper right here the rotor is actually too small and I actually had to uh, mess with my spacers a little bit so if you guys have been following you know I have this uh, spacer right here so I could fit the 100 wide so for you guys if you did decide to go this route which is definitely a possibility you would just need a bigger rotor and um so if you notice on your b1 you have the small spacer on the inside inside right here and then you have the large spacer on uh, in between the wheel and the bracket and what you could probably do is just move the small spacer in and then put the big spacer on the outside uh, because unfortunately with these dual pistons, they got one, two, uh, they're pretty beefy and big, but the, the uh, bracket is a lot closer, meaning the bracket needs to be closer to the actual rotor itself compared to the stock. So as you can see, you got the bracket or the, the main bracket that it floats on right here and then the brake bracket. The floating brake bracket down here and you can see it's quite a bit of distance from where the actual rotor spins in it to where the bracket mounts and then you can see this one is very very close to where the caliper spins around um, so point is you might have to play around with your spacing if you do decide to go this route uh, like I said I have the wheel spacer in here uh, so what I ended up doing was cutting down this spacer right here, which is about half the width of the second spacer that goes on that side. Grab it for you real quick. But normally this would be on the, uh, in between the wheel and the bracket. And then this small one would be in between the bracket and the swing arm. So you just kind of got to mess around with stuff. Now I do have a second foot brake setup coming. Uh, it's not quite here yet should be here in a couple days so I'll probably make it a part two because what I am trying to do is make this a handbrake and foot brake setup so what I'll probably end up doing with the second one it's it is exactly like this it's the single piston so I'm assuming it's gonna be roughly the same that way I can swap to these keep using this handbrake and uh, weld the second bracket onto it and use the uh, second one as a foot brake So hopefully that works out, but uh, we're not going to focus too much on that today Like I said most of these masters seem to be about the same and mount the same so what we're going to be worrying about today is Getting this here foot brake We're going to weld that up uh, up here figure out how we can make it swivel and then going to be making some brackets excuse me so I can weld this to the back right here a little something like that have a little tucked away under the plastics it should look pretty good but yeah guys so I'm gonna go ahead bust out the welder get everything uh, you know grind it all down uh, make a little template for the brackets so I can figure all that stuff out and then go ahead and weld everything together kind of probably tack it up at first just to make sure everything lines up correctly I have enough pivot that way it's not bottoming out on this right here uh, we're gonna be slightly modifying the 
lever. So like I said, this right here, you can see I already ground some of it off, is where the spring would go to keep upward tension. And then right here, you actually have this barrel that attaches to it with this uh, small bolt. And I'm assuming, I think that's the wrong bolt, but something small like that. And I'm assuming that, uh, you know, for whatever bike this is made for, the barrel goes into it and uses a C-clip to keep it on or something. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this nut right here and I'm going to be welding it somewhere around, somewhere around here. And then I will be using this uh, longer Allen, it's an M8. And I'll probably end up cutting it down to right about here because that's seeming about the length I will need to to keep it off of the plastics but still be tucked in enough to where it's lined up nice and straight with the foot pedal but yeah so let's see here let me uh, get this set up real quick and I'll kind of give you an idea of what's gonna go down all right so this is gonna be the gist of it so we'll have a nut welder right here obviously I'll be using the M8 so it'll be a thicker stud um, and then I will be cutting open the hole in the foot brake a little bit wider just so it'll fit but if you notice right here we got a ton of pivot right there and uh, obviously I'm just kind of winging it with one hand right here but we're right off of the plastics there and then we got our pivot point back here that's going to line up perfectly with our brake master cylinder welded right here with the bracket so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and to get everything prepped up kind of move everything around to where i think i need it build up my template real quick and start welding it up here we go quick little update for you got the surface prepped and i gone ahead and made the stud and pivot points um, i'll go ahead and take this apart for you if this damn thing will focus um, but basically, um, I took this M8 bolt and I cut it down. I got an M8 nut and I got some spacers in here. And then right in between this space or this washer and this washer, there is a spacer that's cut down just the tiniest bit over the width of this, so that the bolt itself can be cranked down and. Uh, that way it'll still spin nice and freely and not be wobbly. So you can kind of see there's that little bit of, bit of gap right here and this nut is cranked down to this bolt so it ain't going nowhere. So I'll go ahead and pull it off and show you what all is going on inside of it. So here we have it. We got our bolt and our washer and then this is my little spacer that I made. Took my step bit and drilled out this hole that way get in there so it fits just like that right in here that way it gives uh, this washer and this washer something to squish against without actually squishing the lever itself causing it to lock up so that way this thing will move nice and freely so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and weld this through um, somewhere around here I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff up kind of eyeball it, figure out where I want the lever to be in association with the bottom of the master cylinder, the little uh, stem right here that goes up and down. So I want to make sure I have enough up and down play to where I'm not bottoming out on the top of this, to where I can still reach wherever I may end up putting the master cylinder. But yeah, so let me go ahead and do some more prep, figure out where I want to weld this to, and then of course go ahead and probably make a template or something that I can cut out of steel. Um, I got some scraps back there, and then throw it up here. Cool deal. Get close. Hopefully the video isn't too booty and you can see. Um, but you see we have my stud right here that I'll be welding to. Uh, foot brake is attached to the thing. So we'll be doing something along the lines of this. So we'll mount this right up in here. And we'll just extend a bracket going to it. Now we'll weld this stud right here. And that should give me plenty of room. I mean, if I gotta use that much pedal, something ain't right. 
yeah but that's the gist of it i'm gonna go ahead and bust out the water and tack this on real quick so that's about the position i like make sure i'm gonna sit on it make sure i like it and then from there i'll make my template and we'll get this bracket made cool cool water is out Let's see if i can't get a couple tacks in here remember it's about right here Garbage. Turn it out a little bit. And then what I want to do is put my plastic back on real quick and make sure everything's still fitting nice and against it. Like so. Nice and flat, just like that. That looks good. Not sitting on the plastics. Over and out, just like that. So right now, what I'm doing is just kind of slightly bending the tack. That way, I know my pedal is going to be in nice, good position. flush like that and once this is all said and done I get this bracket tacked should be something like that I think this is looking good. I'm gonna throw another couple tacks in here. I'm not gonna fully weld it yet, just uh, maybe one more tack on the other side, just to make sure I like it after I put the bracket on here. And uh, of course I'm gonna bleed everything and make sure I'm getting proper pressure. Uh, Cause if not, you know, I'm bottoming out right here, which I should have, should be, I should only need just a tiny bit for the foot brake. But uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and make up a bracket with this. And then I'll be right back for you guys and show you how I came up with the bracket and um, how I'm going to cut it out and all that good stuff. All right, back. This is what I've come up with for my master bracket. What do you guys think? Not too bad, huh? Something just like that. Looks like it's going to work out pretty darn good. And that's about right in the position I want the foot pedal as well. I already went ahead and sat down on it. So let me guys, let me give you guys kind of an idea of how I come up with these kinds of brackets. Um, so basically all I did was take this here piece of cardboard, stuffed it up just like that. And then I took my Sharpie here. And then from what, what I really want to pay attention to is where I want my pedal to sit something kind of like that and then all I did was I kind of poked my holes through so we got a little hole right there we got that got that and then I kind of want to go like this and then I want to be able to come around just like that you know something like that it's not gonna match up completely to the one that I just did um, I actually think I did it more like this that way I could go with the contour of the frame itself. That way I can lay a nice weld right there. So that way when I come back to it, I hope my holes didn't go through. I'll basically just go around. Um, I also show you this real quick. So with my holes, I know that my bracket's not gonna be able to go any farther than this right here. So I'll put my lines down there. And then I kind of just complete the trace. That, 
that. Get a little swoop around the hole to come down, just like that. And then from there, I'll go ahead and cut this out. Um, obviously, I've already done that, so I got something similar to that. So I go ahead and cut it out, put my bolts through. That way I know once I'm satisfied with the finished product, I can go ahead and cut this out of a piece of steel tack it on there um, that way it's nice and somewhat strong and then I'll go ahead and test it before I do a full weld on it but I think this is gonna be it I really like this um, I like I'll hopefully be able to put a nice bead right here right here and should be a nice strong bracket so let me go ahead and cut this out and uh, I'll bring you guys back in we'll tack it up and then I'll sit on it make sure everything's working good but yeah, pretty stoked. Hopefully it all works out and we can do some foot brake wheelies today. So I got my bracket all cut up. Um, I could only find this piece of steel so it's already got some holes in it. Uh, but whatever, speed holes works for me. But uh, it's completely bolted to my master cylinder right here. And as I'm putting it up here, everything looks like it's gonna work out beautifully. We're not hitting the side plate and looks like we're gonna have plenty of room before we hit and bottom out and then we'll also be able to adjust it by screwing the bottom of this in and out so I think what I'm going to do now is put a couple tacks uh, sit on it make sure I like it and then I will finalize it and just weld everything together um, try not to roast me on my welds what's that saying uh, grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't that's exactly what's going to happen uh, but it's a good way to plug my patreon if you guys want to help support the channel and help me get parts and pieces and tools uh, Like some 7525 welding gas that way I can lay some nice clean beads and get away from this flux core uh, It's always linked in the description down below But yeah, so let me turn on the welder and let's get this thing all welded up All right, we're all grounded. We're all clean Position this to where I like it, where it's nice and straight. That's looking pretty good right there. Oh, the boogers. Uh, so I do want to mention, if you are doing this yourself, go ahead and take this plate off now that everything's all set. Alright, keep that from melting. Uh, so just a quick tip, that this piece right here is a lot thicker than, I'm assuming, the steel right here. So when I weld, I'm going to weld heavy on this material right here and kind of just bloop it in real quick. Bloop, bloop. That way once I like it and I'm all finalized, I'll go ahead and run a bead all the way up it and hopefully not burn any holes through the frame. Then I go ahead and chip off all my flux, all my chips, and all my uh, spatter and whatnot, and we'll be good to go. But first, let's go ahead and check that out, dude. That came out so good. Can you guys see that all right? Knock it down real quick. There we go. Looking so good. We'll zoom out. Oop, that is in. Let's zoom out. And if I need to, I can bring this down and lift the pedal up or bring it down and lift the pedal down more. I'm hoping I'm only going to need about this much uh, play into it and it will fully lock the brakes like that. Go ahead and sit down on it. Yeah, I think this is going to work beautifully. If anything, it does feel like it can go up just a tiny bit, and I should be able to adjust it just like that. Cool deal, guys. All right, well, now I am going to go ahead and take all of this off. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and weld everything down, grind it, uh, you know, probably grind it nice and pretty, and throw a little bit of black spray paint on top, and we're good to go. All right, let's get to it. I got everything covered that I don't want welded. Quick. Go ahead and weld this bracket down. I think, uh, I think if we need to pull it, we'll probably run the downhill. That's that little bubble right at the end. I think I might be running too hot. I'm not too sure. Pretty solid looking weld though. Oh yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. Just got to clean that up a little bit kind of bubbled up on me and now we got to weld the nut down here I'm going to have to give you guys away real quick Looks like it came out pretty solid. Make sure our post can still back out. Yep, we're good. Bitching. Cool deal. So I'm gonna let this cool off. Might throw a little bit more weld up there. But I think that's uh, looking pretty dang good. I'll get you off the stand here and give you a little close up. Alright, I already went ahead and knocked off some of my boogers. Focus a little bit better. It's not terrible, not terrible. Good penetration. Nuts welded on real good. It ain't pretty, but I'll tell you what, it ain't going nowhere either. Cool, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, kind of mask all this stuff off, throw a little quick coat of paint on it, and then from here, I guess, just put the brakes on. Uh, I gotta bleed them and run that a little bit cleaner. And uh, we'll give her a rip, see if it worked out. And we have the final product. So don't roast me too hard. I am not a painter or a welder, so uh, yeah. But we got her all bled up. And let's see, I know these are oh, so hard to see. But uh, you can tell after we are bled, I am not even close to bottoming out in between here and the foot peg. I still have a ton of room. Foot position is super comfortable. Bracket's nice and solid. Line has ran beautifully. And look at it from the top. Dang, that looks good. Yep, and it seems like it's working out pretty good, guys. Cool deal. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess and we're gonna go ahead and give it a test, make sure it does stop. Um, like I said, this is just uh, kind of temporary right now because I will be putting on the other one that comes in and trying to make a dual caliper bracket. So that way we will have the stock handbrake, which I also need to remove real quick. So that's not just hanging there. And we can run this foot brake setup. But the important thing is we have our pivot point and our bracket all mounted up. So we're ready to go on that end. So cool deal. Pretty stoked and I'm hoping this works out. 
and I'll be right back after I clean up. You guys, I have been wanting an electric pit bike with a foot brake for so long. Check it out. It's working so good. It's like the perfect position too for my foot because uh, a lot of people's I get on their foot brake super high and I feel like I got to angle my foot back or drop it off to the side but this works just so perfect for me. Um, I'm not bottoming out on the peg bracket here so I'm not worried about um, you know running out of brake. I just took it and did a couple wheelies on it. I'm definitely gonna mouse trap on this thing because I am not smooth with it no more. But as you can see, no more handbrake, at least for now. So stay tuned. Uh, once I get that all figured out, and if you guys are late to the video, I will link something up here for you for the second part of the video. And I'll also throw it down in the description just in case. Uh, you know, I'll probably name it something like dual caliper bracket on the B1. You know, something goofy like that. But yeah, guys, I am super pumped. Again, if you guys do follow me, just remember that we are not getting full contact. Yeah, it's hard to see. We are not getting full contact on this. Um, it is more than half the rotor, and it's got way more stopping power than the, the, the stock handbrake does. Uh, so what uh, like I said, I'm gonna end up with a different one of these and hopefully when it comes in It's you know roughly the same as the other one as far as how it mounts on the bracket and how close it needs to be to the rotor So we'll figure that out here in the future um, If not chances are I'll just end up buying a whole new handbrake setup like I did with the SSR and find like one for a quad uh, that uses one of these brakes that way I can just cut up a couple of these brackets here and you know run one down here one over here that way we got dual caliper bracket so I can be busting them uh, no handed wheelies I can do some seat stands you know stuff that I am terrified to do at the moment but you know it's all towards that progress oh yeah guys well uh, I guess let me throw the helmet cam on real quick and do a couple skids and a, a couple wheelies show you guys it works Sorry if the audio quality is terrible. I just threw my phone on my helmet. It's getting perfectly. Got a couple of whiskeys. be smooth with it now or I do stuff like that oh yeah that's good though I'd rather be mouse trapping than brake fading all right cool deal guys Phew. all right guys I am melting let's go ahead and end this video off right here uh, just a quick update I'm still running on the ETM kits and I haven't quite got to the far driver yet, uh, but do be expecting that ASAP. Um, if I do, I'll put it up on my Patreon first for all my Patreon members. Shout out to you guys, you've been holding it down. Um, there's been a few homies that have been donating to the channel as well. And I just wanted to say shout out to everybody who's been helping. Uh, you guys have paid for that 72450. You guys have paid for these breaks and all this stuff that I'm doing. And I really, really couldn't do it without you guys. But yeah, stay tuned. Far driver video is coming soon. Dual caliper bracket soon. We're just beginning. The B1 is going to be incredible. Later, guys.